Hi, I'm David Cooper from Whitley Bay Organs and E-Pianos. Today I want to show you uh, uh, Orla Grand Theatre. It's a great instrument. It's got a, a quite a large cabinet, but it gives you really good speakers built into it. Uh, it's got long uh, keyboards. You've got one, two, three, four, five, so 61 note keyboards, two of those, uh, a single octave pedal board, uh, and little features like a sustain pedal. So if you want to play piano on the lower keyboard, We've got a, a sustain pedal like a piano would give us. Um, we've also got a great feature which sets it all up for us. So if you're going to play with both hands and pedals, the best way to set the instrument up, if you're not so confident of choosing all the sounds to mix, would be these features down here. It's called automatic organ. And there's, there's seven categories, each with uh, an A and a B of eight. So 16 lots of seven, about 112 I make that. And that gives us registrations that make it very easy to use. So if we wanted to go to the... Um, overall presets, we can go to A number one and we've got set up nice organ one sound. If we go along, I'll go through a few of these because they are really good setups and it just makes it so easy to use. Number two. Number three. Number four. gradually work our way through. Let's go a little bit further. And number next one. So they're just really well set up. Now the other categories, we've got all kinds of music. So we've got reality band. And on the screen it actually shows me the, the name of the setting. So if I go to number one, it's Miller Reed. So it'd be like a Glenn Miller. Um, added into that is a, is a feature called OFC, OMC and this has given me a harmony on my right hand melody without needing to play these big chords. So if I play a chord with my left hand and I play a single note, it sounds like a group of instruments playing together. It's given me a, a harmonised chord. a great way to make you uh, sound like you're playing lots more notes. Let's go to the next one. We've got Miller Reed 2. Number three is Miller Swing. So it gives us a nice big setting. Bassy Brass. And number five is big brand saxes. Again, this uh, OMC, the chord feature, is coming in to make my right hand sound like I'm playing lots of chords, where really I'm just playing. And it's just filling out those sounds for me. Next one is 30s band. one's Dorsey Band. Trombone. Sounds 
So a really good selection of instruments. If we go to another section here, orchestra. So again, with this, we've got loads of orchestral says, Mantova is Mantovani. Harmony strings. Again, that harmony is coming in. Okay, we'll go to another one. We've got um, piano, harmony, strings. So, piano with strings. some really good full sounds and I'm not doing anything all I'm doing is I'm choosing one button so it, it makes it so easy to select just go to the sound you want uh, guitar and strings another one uh, Latin orchestra So each time I've shown you this, I'm only going on the first row. Don't forget there's, there's two rows, A and B, each with eight selections. Um, we've got another one, church organ here. So I'll go to my church organ. Uh, the first one's a little soft chapel organs. called harmonium that's nice and then we go to the fuller sound so if we go to the second lot brilliant sounds another feature is the Theatre organ sounds, and again we've got loads to choose from here. Let's start with the sweet tibias. sounds sounds. So using all these presets are great but there is another option for you if you don't want to play the pedals. Quite a lot of people now think well pedals are a bit of a pain to have to play as well. We can use this button called automatic setup and what this is going to do is it's going to give me a really good accompaniment section but play the auto bass and bass will be automatic so whatever chord I play it will play me a suitable bass note coming through from this button here and all it's doing is it's turning on the um, the automatic bass button and, and that's making it a full sound without me having to worry about the bass pedal. So let's give an example. We'll go into the cha-cha rhythm. We'll go into automatic setup and it automatically gives me an introduction 
and a synchro start. So the moment I start playing, you get a really long intro, which makes you feel really good. It goes on for quite a long time, but it's a great full sort of build up to your song. So I'll play my chord. And it will choose a good sound as well for you. Variations. big full sound. Let's try another one. Let's go into, um, we'll try country. Okay. Again, automatic setups turned on. So it will choose me a sound, guitar sound, and it's given me an introduction. And a great rhythm. So all these styles are going to give us three different style variations and although we're in a country, the first one's country one, second one country two, and third one's three, but they're all going to give us variations. So the first one, if I play it without an intro, there's my standard country, okay? Now if I go number two, it's a different feel to it, the, the rhythm varies. And number C, Now on the panel, I've still got three more because I've got uh, a country two button and I've got, um, let's have a look, A, there we go, and B. So they've got little variations. You can find one that suits your song best. A slow country. Now something else we can do is we've got three variations as to what's going on in the background. If we stick with country one again on A, this is backing number one, okay? And if I go number two, there's more going on there. We've got the, the other sounds in the background, accordions, and then three. Got some Hawaiian guitar in there as well. And then we've got fill-ins, we've got two fill-ins. First fill-in is like an intro. We could hit it again. And then fill-in number two. So you just fill in that little gap. So we can use these fill-ins just to add into the music at the end of a, a phrase or a verse and it just adds to what we're playing really. So the rhythm section is very elaborate. We have uh, a full uh, 61 note lower keyboard that we can use and we could play it just as a piano if we wanted because each section is colour coded. We have a, a blue, a yellow and a green for the upper keyboard and for the lower keyboard we've got a yellow and a blue. 
So what we can do is we can decide where we want sounds to go. So if I wanted to have a lower uh, piano uh, sound, then we could choose our piano sound from the, the yellow section. And we can make sure that just on the lower keyboard, just our yellow section is turned on. Can you see that from there? So you have four sections, bass, orchestra, special and flutes. And I've just got my yellow one turned on. And in my yellow section, I've got um, the piano. Oh, wrong section, it's over here. So the piano section is up here and I've got my piano turned on. So now, This is my piano sustain pedal. I can hold that down. Just lengthens the note. So we can decide where we want the sounds to go and which section we want to put them into. If I want to add some organ sounds with that, I've got these draw bars down here that I can bring in and I can turn them on here. And now I've got piano and flutes. And I can blend them. My upper flute draw bars are turned on over here, look. And that gives me the use. No flutes. And I can put my effects on slow, slow rotary speaker, or fast. So we've got all the different features of an organ that you'd want. You've got the, the automatic setups, including the bass pedals. You've got the automatic setups if you want to play and just use the rhythm of backgrounds and accompaniments. And we've got the use of a full set of draw bars. Um, we've even got a pitch bend and a modulation wheel to be able to wobble the sounds. And over here, we've got a very th useful thing is a, uh, an equalization. So we can bring in more treble or bass to make it a shriller or a bassier sound. So I can make it very rich, add the brightness. And that will change every sound you're using. It will bring in a higher range of frequencies or a lower range to make it a, a warmer or a brighter sound. It's a big cover that comes down. Nice cover. And um, we've got these lights on this one. If you look along the front, there's lights that we can turn on or off. Um, Quite nice bit to see the panel better. This is a really good instrument. I've enjoyed playing it. It's called the Orla Grand Theatre. And um, there's more details on our website, epianos.co.uk, or give us a call on 0191 257 1666. I hope you found this useful.